Okay, so I'm just going to show you what ink and paint means and how it looks like. I have a quick demo here, which I can show it to you. So it's this 2D cartoonish look um, for your 3D models, which I think it's amazing. Right now, there's not a lot of geometry inside the scene, so um, it definitely looks better when there's when there's a full environment happening. So let me show you how it's done. I'm just gonna um, select an empty slot, and where it says standard right here, we're just gonna select ink and paint from the map browser. I'm just gonna drag and drop it on the box. And there's a few things that you can select here. So you have paint levels, which means it's just gonna add a paint level right here, which kind of gets brighter. It creates a bit of shadow um, on your object. And it, you can also select the ink, um, edit the ink width. So let's say I want it to be really thick. Okay. So if I render this now, you can also see the levels here. And I think it's just, I think it's just beautiful. There are some other presets that you can try. So from standard right here, if you go to materials, under materials, scan line, architectural, there's a few templates. So if for example, I wanna have the mirror, let's see how it looks like. It's just gonna be more reflective. Um, Let's see what else. Water. I think this is interesting. Um, wood varnished. But of course, these are materials basically. We, you don't have any diffuse map or transparency map or anything that kind of gives it color. You don't have any map for the bump, for displacement, but these are all things that you can change. And maybe it, it's just easier to get the material that you actually want or looking the way you want it to look with this type of stuff. Glass. You also have fabric, but of course, there's not a lot of changes that we can see right now.